the Gospel of Thomas. These are the secret sayings that the living Jesus spoke in Didymus Judas Thomas recorded. And he said, Whoever discovers the interpretation of these sayings will not taste death. Jesus said, Those who seek should not stop seeking until they find. When they find, they will be disturbed. When they are disturbed, they will marvel, and will reign over all. And after they have reigned they will rest. Jesus said, If your leaders say to you, Look, the Father's kingdom is in the sky, then the birds of the sky will precede you. If they say to you, It is in the sea, then the fish will precede you. Rather, the Father's kingdom is within you and it is outside you. When you know yourselves, then you will be known, and you will understand that you are children of the living Father. But if you do not know yourselves, then you live in poverty, and you are the poverty. Jesus said, the person old in days won't hesitate to ask a little child seven days old about the place of life, and that person will live. For many of the first will be last, and will become a single one. Jesus said, no one is in front of your face, and what is hidden from you will be disclosed to you. For there is nothing hidden that will not be revealed. And there is nothing buried that will not be raised. His disciples asked him and said to him, do you want us to fast? How should we pray? Should we give to charity? What diet should we observe? Jesus said, Don't lie, and don't do what you hate, because all things are disclosed before heaven. After all, there is nothing hidden that will not be revealed, and there is nothing covered up that will remain undisclosed. Jesus said, Lucky is the lion that the human will eat, so that the lion becomes human. And foul is the human that the lion will eat, and the lion still will become human. And he said, the person is like a wise fisherman who cast his net into the sea and drew it up from the sea full of little fish. Among them the wise fisherman discovered a fine large fish. He threw all the little fish back into the sea, and easily chose the large fish. Anyone here with two good ears had better listen. Jesus said, Look, the sower went out, took a handful of seeds, and scattered them. Some fell on the road, and the birds came and gathered them. Others fell on rock, and they didn't take root on the soil and didn't produce heads of grain. Others fell on thorns, and they choked the seeds and worms ate them. And others fell on good soil, and it produced a good crop, it yielded sixty per measure and one hundred twenty per measure. Jesus said, I have cast fire upon the world, and look, I'm guarding it until it blazes. Jesus said, This heaven will pass away, and the one above it will pass away. The dead are not alive, and the living will not die. During the days when you ate what is dead, you made it come alive. When you are in the light, what will you do? On the day when you were one, you became two. But when you become two, what will you do? The disciples said to Jesus, We know that you are going to leave us. Who will be our leader? Jesus said to them, No matter where you are you are to go to James the Just, for whose sake heaven and earth came into being. Jesus said to his disciples, Compare me to something and tell me what I am like. Simon Peter said to him, You are like a just messenger. Matthew said to him, You are like a wise philosopher. Thomas said to him, Teacher, my mouth is utterly unable to say what you are like. Jesus said, I am not your teacher. Because you have drunk, you have become intoxicated from the bubbling spring that I have tended. And he took him, and withdrew and spoke three sayings to him. When Thomas came back to his friends they asked him, What did Jesus say to you? Thomas said to them, If I tell you one of the sayings he spoke to me, you will pick up rocks and stone me, and fire will come from the rocks and devour you. Jesus said to them, If you fast, you will bring sin upon yourselves, and if you pray, you will be condemned, and if you give to charity, you will harm your spirits. When you go into any region and walk about in the countryside, when people take you in, eat what they serve you and heal the sick among them. After all, what goes into your mouth will not defile you. Rather, it's what comes out of your mouth that will defile you. Jesus said, When you see one who was not born of woman, fall on your faces and worship. That one is your father. Jesus said, Perhaps people think that I have come to cast peace upon the world. They do not know that I have come to cast conflicts upon the earth fire, sword, war. For there will be five in a house there will be three against two and two against three, 
father against son and son against father, and they will stand alone. Jesus said, I will give you what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, what no hand has touched, what has not arisen in the human heart. The disciples said to Jesus, Tell us, how will our end come? Jesus said, Have you found the beginning, then, that you are looking for the end you see, the end will be where the beginning is. Congratulations to the one who stands at the beginning that one will know the end and will not taste death. Jesus said, Congratulations to the one who came into being before coming into being. If you become my disciples and pay attention to my sayings, these stones will serve you. For there are five trees in paradise for you. They do not change, summer or winter, and their leaves do not fall. Whoever knows them will not taste death. The disciples said to Jesus, Tell us what heaven's kingdom is like. He said to them, It's like a mustard seed, the smallest of all seeds, but when it falls on prepared soil, it produces a large plant and becomes a shelter for birds of the sky. Mary said to Jesus, What are your disciples like? He said, They are like little children living in a field that is not theirs. When the owners of the field come, they will say, Give us back our field. They take off their clothes in front of them in order to give it back to them, and they return their field to them. For this reason I say, if the owners of a house know that a thief is coming, they will be on guard before the thief arrives and will not let the thief break into their house their domain and steal their possessions. As for you, then, be on guard against the world. Prepare yourselves with great strength, so the robbers can't find a way to get to you, for the trouble you expect will come. Let there be among you a person who understands. When the crop ripened, he came quickly carrying a sickle and harvested it. Anyone here with two good ears had better listen. Jesus saw some babies nursing. He said to his disciples, These nursing babies are like those who enter the Father's kingdom. They said to him, Then shall we enter the Father's kingdom as babies? Jesus said to them, When you make the two into one, and when you make the inner like the outer and the outer like the inner, and the upper like the lower, and when you make male and female into a single one, so that the male will not be male nor the female be female, when you make eyes in place of an eye, a hand in place of a hand, a foot in place of a foot, an image in place of an image, then you will enter the kingdom. Jesus said, I shall choose you, one from a thousand and two from ten thousand, and they will stand as a single one. His disciples said, Show us the place where you are, for we must seek it. He said to them, Anyone here with two ears had better listen. There is light within a person of light, and it shines on the whole world. If it does not shine, it is dark. Jesus said, Love your friends like your own soul, protect them like the pupil of your eye. Jesus said, You see the sliver in your friend's eye, but you don't see the timber in your own eye. When you take the timber out of your own eye, then you will see well enough to remove the sliver from your friend's eye. If you do not fast from the world, you will not find the Father's kingdom. If you do not observe the Sabbath as a Sabbath you will not see the Father. Jesus said, I took my stand in the midst of the world, and in flesh I appeared to them. I found them all drunk, and I did not find any of them thirsty. My soul aged for the children of humanity, because they are blind in their hearts and do not see, for they came into the world empty, and they also seek to depart from the world empty. But meanwhile they are drunk. When they shake off their wine, then they will change their ways. Jesus said, If the flesh came into being because of spirit, that is a marvel, but if spirit came into being because of the body, that is a marvel of marvels.